Standard on all T-vans is the sail awning. When you arrive at campsite and you want to put up the sail awning, you do have to make sure that the hatch of the van is locked down on the angle that you see below me here. You can drop the tent out as you see here, and at the same time, grab the carabiner, which would normally hold the tent in the locked place. The sail awning is an isosceles triangle. So that means the longest end connects to the body of the van, which is where I've got this eyelet. Roll it out, take the carabiner, and lock it onto the black bird's beak clip. At this point, you could do one of two things. You could let the hatch go up and then set up the tent, or you can set up the sail awning. So if it's bucketing rain and you really want to use the kitchen before you use the tent, you can erect the awning. Usually, I like to do the end down by the kitchen first. That way I have a clear finishing point. You also notice I like to make sure that it covers over the roof of the van. Then you've got a then you've got a peak in the middle. and a pole in the end. Now the benefit of the sail awning is there is no specific way to set it up. You can choose how you want to set it up. You can choose if you want to use it at the same time as the full awning because you can even connect it on the opposite side of the van. But today I'm just making sure that the kitchen is covered so that I can use it without getting wet. <laughs>